Hi guys, so the Tory party posted this on Twitter on Monday. It says, we're ramping up investment in defence with an extra £5 billion to meet the challenges of an increasingly volatile and complex world. And it has this nice image of the Defence Secretary Ben Wallace in combat fatigues for some reason, and Rishi Sunak in front of a tank, the globe and a union flag behind them. Now the Conservatives have been receiving a lot of criticism for not investing sufficiently in the armed forces over the last 10 to 13 years. So this £5 billion will correct all of that, or is it just smoke and mirrors? Well, Sky News' Deborah Haynes explained where most of the money will actually go. So the Prime Minister is announcing this extra £5 billion. Pounds. It's nearly, it's about £50 million pounds short, to be honest. Um, but most of it is actually going into the nuclear deterrent, which means in reality for the conventional forces, there's only going to be an extra £1.9 billion pounds over the next two years. And the army alone, has, uh, I, I understand, um, needs around £3 billion not to avoid cuts. Uh, and so, well, yes, of course, any new money is welcome. This is not not enough and this commitment to increase the defence budget spending to 2.5% of GDP has no time frame. So unless it has a time frame that's meaningful, the MOD planners can't really use that to rely on for long term planning. Wow. OK, so look, it's important to remember that when we're talking about military spending, yes, it's not a very um, sexy issue. <laughs> because we generally focus instead on cost of living or on other issues that we deem more important. But these cuts are important because they're affecting, for example, military families. So if the government is not investing, and it's, you know, this money is going into a nuclear deterrent when it should actually be going to help families, for example. This is a report from the BBC on the 14th of December last year. Military housing families say they're living in damp, mouldy conditions. These homes are not fit for human habitation in many cases. You can see here images that were posted, to, uh, that were sent to the BBC, including some on uh, social media. This is uh, somebody who posted on Twitter, tired of living like this, cupboards unable, uh, unusable due to never ending damp and mold, drafty windows, no loft insulation, cold house all the time, damp everywhere. At least it's not uh, where, my, where our baby sleeps either. Oh wait, hang on, and then he posts the video. Um, you can see here an image where there's literally water dripping down from a light. Um, completely unacceptable. You know, the, the Tories tr pr pride themselves on looking after the military, you know, the, the party that's on the side of defence and defence spending. But the money should be going to fix these problems before going into some deterrent. And why is it going to the deterrent? I don't know. You know, when we think of military spending, we think of aircraft, we think of tanks, but generally this is where the money should be going. And it's not. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.